Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with a, another packing video. So I tend to do these every time that I go away for some kind of semi-substantial period of time. And you may have heard me in a couple of my videos lately talk about the fact that I am actually going to be traveling to the Great Barrier Reef. Um, one reason is, you know, just because I can since we're in Australia. Um, but also another reason why I'm going is because I actually turn 28 this Friday. So we're just kind of celebrating that. So yes, my birthday is a Friday the 13th. And in fact, I was born on a Friday the 13th. So um, hopefully we will not encounter any bad luck on the reef or up in the tropics. But I just wanted to um, show you what I have decided to pack with me. Okay, so the very first thing I'll start with is dresses. So we will be staying in a city called Cairns, which is kind of like a resort town, I guess, sort of. Um, and so I know that there will be a couple of days when we are either going out to a cocktail bar and we is my boyfriend, me, and like some of our other friends who live up there. Um, so there will be some nights when we go out to dinner or to a cocktail bar or whatever. So I need to make sure that I'm prepared for that. So um, the first dress that I have is navy. It has kind of these cream, yellow, and purple flowers. Um, it's a good dress for um, going somewhere nice but not necessarily having to be um, like too nice, I guess. So yeah, it's good for that. I actually purchased this the first time that I went to Australia, so it's special to me um, partly for that reason. And I also have a few other dresses. So I have this. It actually shows up kind of blue-ish. It's actually more green in real life, but this is a one-shoulder dress that serves the same kind of purpose. So again, it's just a good dress for a nice-ish place to go. I also have this orange, white, black, and blue one-shoulder dress. Um, this could be for going out or um, it's also good for during the day if you kind of dress it down a little bit. And it has this sash with it. And then this kind of cream colored dress with the flowers is a really good day dress. So this is not so much like a going out type dress, but more so just wearing during the day. Um, since I'll be in the tropics, it'll be um, at this time of year about 80 to 90 degrees. So I have to dress uh, accordingly. Okay, the next thing that I packed is my stack of PJs. I decided to just bring two sets. So I have a pair of yoga pants, some sweatpants, and then naturally just two KU t-shirts. Next thing is my stack of t-shirts. So you guys know from my videos, I tend to wear a lot of black and gray and when I travel that tends to be no exception because my philosophy with traveling is I want to make sure that I pack things that I am always in the mood to wear and that tends to be these really nice soft t-shirts. So I have this kind of nicer one from Express um, but the rest of these are pretty bare bones plain soft v-necks. So I think I have maybe like three or four gray shirts this kind of maroon one there's a black tank top and then, like I said, my white tank top too. The next thing I have over here is my stack of... Um, I have a skirt, a pair of running shorts because I may or may not go to the gym when I'm there. Um, a pair of jeans, skinny jeans, and also a pair of navy shorts. So again, pretty no muss, no fuss. Just something that I will always be in the mood to wear no matter what. Next, I have my pile of shoes. Um, again, I kind of cringe at taking more than two pairs of shoes on vacation, but just bear with me. So I needed a pair of just like casual brown flip-flops and then my casual black ones. Um, and then for my going out dresses, um, I needed this kind of like nicer gladiator style sandal. And then with these, these are the shoes that I typically wear to the gym. Um, in addition to being on the reef, we will also potentially be trekking through some rainforests. So I definitely need to make sure that I'm dressed appropriately for that. So that's why I'm also taking those running shoes. 
Um, and then that's it for my clothes, but next what I have is just um, some kind of odds and ends that I'll be taking with me. So I will have just this plain coach clutch when I don't want to carry a large bag. Again, when we go out to um, like a nicer dinner or a cocktail bar or whatever. I also want to make sure that I am taking a hat with me. This is actually the only hat that I own because I typically don't wear hats. So naturally a KU hat. Um, I actually don't have my poncho here. It's in my boyfriend's trunk, but he's at work right now out on a flight. So I grabbed this to remind myself that I need to take a poncho. It's been raining a lot up there lately and it's supposed to rain part of every day that we're there, I think except for one. So I'm going to take this and then that's why I definitely have my umbrella as well. Next up here, I just kind of brought like mostly bare bones makeup. I tend to travel just with bare bones makeup whenever I actually do travel just because I don't really care to take my entire collection. Not that my makeup collection is huge in the first place, but you know, as long as I can fit it in this one single bag, that tends to be what I do. And then next, I guess these are all my um, undergarments, I guess. I'm not going to take those out and show you all. I guess I'll leave that to your imagination. But yeah, I took uh, two swimsuits. And while I hate overpacking, as far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as overpacking underwear. So I have, I'll be there for, I believe, six or seven days. But I packed about 10 or 11 pairs because, you know, you never know. Um, so underneath that, I just have... Um, these packing cubes that I'm about to put my things into. I am a firm believer in packing cubes. They are amazing, especially after having to move my whole life over here. I am telling you, I love packing cubes. And I actually bought these in the States. I bought them at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, by the way, here's a public service announcement, has an amazing travel section. So whether you are traveling internationally or domestically, or perhaps you just want to use them in your regular life, yeah, take a look at these packing cubes and TJ Maxx's travel section in general. It is wonderful. It's like a wonderland in there. Okay, oh, and one more thing. Speaking of things I really believe in, if I had to say my like most random travel essential, electrical tape. I am telling you, especially my Bath & Body Works people, Electrical tape is amazing. I wrap my liquids with it because I find that I have never had an issue with a liquid leaking with electrical tape. And this is actually what I used when I used to sell my Bath and Body Works on eBay. Never have I ever had a problem with Bath and Body Works things leaking in the mail when I use electrical tape. So I'm a firm believer in this. And in fact, uh, I think it's a little bit hard to find in Australia-ish. You have to go to a pretty specific place to find this. Um, but yeah, every time I go to the States, I usually buy a roll of this. I'm a firm believer in these. All right. And second to last, third to last, is my packing cube of um, just kind of like liquids in general. So I have my spray deodorant, extra contacts, um, my micellar water makeup remover pads, Everything that I want in terms of a liquid goes in here and it all fits really perfectly. And then I decided not to take a backpack just because I'm flying domestically and don't need as much stuff. So I'm actually just taking this tote bag. It's a Kate Spade bag that I was actually gifted uh, five years ago. Yeah, five years ago, because I was student teaching when I got this for my birthday. Anyway, it is extremely well-loved, as you can see here and in other places. But yeah, it's a pretty good tote bag. I love using it, so I'm just going to put all my stuff in there as my carry-on and call it good. And speaking of my carry-on, this is what I'll have pretty much. So I have my wallet, as always, iPod, um, external battery, power cord coin purse and then this is my liquid bag that I actually take on the flight so and you know naturally I'll have my phone and probably my iPad too but yeah that'll pretty much be it and then you guys have seen my suitcase before that is it um, it's kind of like oddly large for just a week of travel 
However, that's the only suitcase I have. I have yet to invest into a smaller one. I'll probably do that for my next, uh, I don't know if I would necessarily say domestic travel, but definitely my next travel trip, I guess, that isn't very long. So yeah, that time has not come yet, but soon I will have something besides that. So that is it for my packing for the Great Barrier Reef for a week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.